Today we are going to be demonstrating Sensor Network's JAWS 2.0 Retrieval Tool. JAWS is a unique, easy to use, rugged and waterproof device. It is a motorized retrieval tool with integral HDTV camera, LED lights, and a rechargeable battery powered controller with an HD video monitor. But safety comes first here at Sensor Networks and I'm sure at your company too, so let's start there. Please follow the following precautions while using the tool. Do not use JAWS in an explosive or hazardous environment. The tool is not tested or rated for this usage. Do not position JAWS near moving machinery. The tool may be damaged or ensnared. Do not operate JAWS in temperatures below 0 degrees Fahrenheit or above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not submerge JAWS in acid or caustics. Do not submerge JAWS deeper than 50 feet in any liquid. Use supplied charger to charge the battery. Follow battery condition indicator on the charger. The setup is fast and user friendly. First, we must connect the tool to the cable. The male connector on the cable and the female connector on the tool have matching red dots. Align these dots to establish the connection. You should be able to both hear and feel the connector snap into place. Then, connect the cable to the controller. In a similar fashion, the connection between the tool cable and the controller needs to be established. Align the white arrow on the cable connector to the white line on the controller connector. Apply pressure and twist the cable in the direction the green arrow points. Be sure to test all connections to ensure proper function of the tool and controller before beginning any job, but we'll cover that in a minute. Flexible push poles and related mechanical delivery devices can be attached at the back end of JAWS by compressing the interlocking pin with your fingers and inserting the accessory. To remove it, you can use the 332nd inch hex key as shown here. Next is powering the system. To turn on the system, depress the joystick for one second. The LED will blink green while the system turns on. After 15 seconds, the light will turn blue, indicating the system is ready for use. To turn off the system, depress the joystick and hold for two seconds. Use the provided pictures and diagrams to outline the features of the controller. Opening and closing the jaws are done via the controller's joystick. As shown on the controller's icons, press the switch down to open the jaws, and press the switch up to close the jaws. To change out the various jaws end effectors, you'll need the 332nd inch hex key included in the kit. Remove the two socket head cap screws that are holding the end effectors. Remove both end effectors and reverse the process with two new end effectors. Be sure to clean the mating surfaces and to firmly tighten the locking screws. Press the switch to the left to display the battery condition status on the LED. Three green blinks and the battery is in good condition with an hour and a half to three and a half hours of continuous operation. At two green blinks, there is one and a half hours of operation time left. At one yellow blink, there is a half an hour of operation time left. At one red blink, shutdown will occur shortly after five minutes. The controller has power saving modes to help extend battery life. After 10 minutes of no switch activity, the status LED blinks blue. After 20 minutes of no switch activity, the system will go to sleep, completely powering down the video display. The system is still running on minimum battery power. The status LED 
will still be blinking blue. Moving the switch will awaken the system. After 30 minutes with no switch activity, the system will completely shut down. You will need to restart the system by depressing the switch. The internal battery pack can power the tool and the controller for approximately three and a half hours. It is important to remember that the battery does not charge while it is in the controller. Plug the connector from the AC adapter into the back of the charger. Place the battery into the battery bay, ensuring that the five-way connector is fully seated. The LED on the charger will provide status information and the charging will begin automatically. Green flashing and the battery is charging. Solid green means that the battery is fully charged and red means that an error has occurred. In the event that you have a dead battery and still need to use the tool, you can do so by attaching the AC power adapter. The controller will use AC power, if present, before it uses any of the battery charge. This will not charge the battery, but simply allow you to operate on AC power. Always check the life of your battery before starting any job with the tool. It is sometimes desirable to use the included lanyard anchor for hands-free mobility or securing the controller near an open system. The JAWS controller comes equipped with three attachment points for lanyards. Always remember to keep safety in mind when deciding to use lanyards attached to your body. Thank you for watching this product video and feel free to contact us if you need any further assistance with your JAWS product or a difficult loose part retrieval that you may be experiencing. Thank you.